Hey guys, it's MazeMan112, and today I'm going to bring you guys another Mondays with MazeMan, so let's jump right into it and get to the first question. The first question comes from me, he says, I am a college kid, I am trying to make some money, there are no jobs around, what can I do to earn some extra cash? Um, a lot of people would go ahead to go uh, sell drugs or pimp yourself out or something like that. But uh, that, that's not what you're going to want to do here. I'm going to show you or tell you some legal ways and some ways that some people might not think of to get a little bit of extra cash in your pocket. I remember what it's like being in college and it's amazing how you know 20 or 50 bucks a week can just completely change uh, the aspect of a lot of your daily living. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into it. The first thing you could do is if there's a subject that you really excel at. Um, say you're going there and you're a math major, and right now you might be in with some of your prereqs or you're you're, you're going to be with students that are not math majors. Um, they're going to need help with their homework. Um, some of these guys might want to go ahead and you know either you can return, you know you're good at math, they're good at English, those kind of things, or some people will actually pay for a tutor to come and and help them out for a little bit um, on the personal, on the private side of things, but also your school or your university, your college, wherever you're at. They offer these tutors, these workshop type programs to help out students in these other subjects. Look and see if they have any of these available um, in the subject that you excel in. And normally these pay pretty decent. You know, I mean, fifteen dollars an hour when you're in college is, is a pretty decent amount of change. You know, even if you're only working ten hours a week, it's one hundred and fifty extra dollars. You know that that it's expendable income for you now, and you can go ahead and go out and have a good time. Another couple things that you can look into. Um, is working with the university. A lot of universities have, you know, little odd and end type jobs, whether or not you're working in the library, working in, you know, uh, the registrar, or you're working in the financial aid office. They have little things that you can do and help out um, these, these little assistant programs. Looking to see if they have anything like that. Uh, but go ahead and we'll say that school has nothing like that. You're not really excelling in any, any one subject, so you really can't be a tutor. What else can you do? Um... Well, I know uh, in the medical field, a lot of people, they donate blood and they don't donate plasma. And uh, I think you can do it once a month, I think is what you can do with the plasma, maybe twice a month with the blood. Uh, but anyways, don't hold me to those numbers. A lot of people will go ahead and they'll donate their plasma because it's the first time you donate it, you get, I think it's around 30 or 40 bucks. And then every time after that, it's 40 or $50. So it, it actually steps up once you become a repeat uh, donor and this also helps out a lot of individuals a lot of people in the health field they do this they donate blood they donate plasma to earn a little bit of extra money especially around the holidays but moving on to another thing that isn't as uh, prevalent around as a lot of places you need to be around a bigger campus or a bigger university and um, there's a lot of these um, test places you can go to where you know whether or not it's a you know oral surgery type school where they need help you know pulling out teeth and you need a tooth that needs pulled out and they'll actually pay you to have your teeth pulled out um, I've heard that I've heard someone actually having their wisdom tooth pulled out and actually made money doing it um, but the holy key was it they were doing a study and it was the effects of not having the patient completely put under while having the tooth removed so that there's kind of the, those kind of crazy things but they pay good money you can look into that maybe it'll be something that's just surveys and, and not so uh, harming to your body all right moving on to the next question what are my thoughts on lefty versus iFly um, if you guys haven't heard about this at all iFly is a guy who really got his channel to be the size that it is by calling out raw instinct um, for copying Tmart's videos and pretty much went on this huge rant talking about, you know, this is my video. This was Raw Instinct's videos. Look what he was doing here with T. Martin, where he was copying his thumbnails, his ideas. Everything was copied to a T and, and really called him out on it. And that's really how his channel grew. Well, Lefty is now trying to do the same to iFly. Um, pretty much saying that iFly is copying T. Martin's videos. Had a very nicely produced video. Very big vocabulary, lots of words thrown out there, very well put together. But it just turns out that the facts weren't straight. Um, apparently there was a lot of errors in it, the dates of the videos didn't match up, and now he is getting a lot of hate on it. My feelings on it are, is that I, I kind of feel like it, it, it helps the community, it brings more people into the community just because people like drama... You know, it, it's going to get people to come in that normally wouldn't be watching some of these videos and get some of these guys recognized. But my personal opinion is, opinion is that if you build your channel on drama, you are not going to have any kind of longevity because people can only take drama for so long before it gets kind of stale, it gets a little bit old, and it's yesterday's news. Uh, moving on to the next question. 
Next question is, G-Unit just released the fastest swarm. 37 seconds. Real or fake? I think it's fake. Uh, I went and watched the video a couple times, and it looks it looks semi-legit. I know that it sounds odd. At one point in time, he kills, I think, four or five guys on on the C-Dom or A-Dom with no one even turning around. But um, if you guys don't know the story of G-Unit... G Unit faked the world's fastest nuke on Terminal, and um, people found out that it was faked. At one point in time, you see a guy who is, you know, running away from B Dom after he's been capped, realizes that he's supposed to be back there, and he runs back just in time for a six piece grenade kill. And people found out it was fake, and it really to this day is the biggest event to happen on, you know, the YouTube Call of Duty scene that actually completely just ends a channel's life. Um, and then he came back probably three or four months ago and started putting up videos I think he actually put up one video after that and it was a fake uh, world's fastest knife only nuke that he did right after that so he faked two videos back to back I mean how do you follow up a video that you fake a nuke with another video to fake a nuke and um, he came on PKA a little bit to talk about it and to me personally he, he didn't seem phased by it at all he didn't even seem like he'd be the second quest faking another thing um, he's doing it for the views. I, my guess is it's gonna come out a little bit later that this is a fake video, and um, we'll we'll find out. I mean, if not, he he is a strong player. He does put up good gameplay. Uh, but my whole thing is, if you're once a, once a cheater, you're always a cheater. And um, there's just too many times for him to be faking stuff to for us to actually take it legit. All right, to go on a little bit lighter note, we got some would you rather's for you guys. Uh, the next one is a would you rather, and you wake up next to them sore the night before without a memory of what happened. The Burger King or Ronald McDonald? Um, that's kind of creepy. I guess it depends on which Burger King it is. Is it that creepy one with that goofy ass mask that they had the last couple years that they just got rid of? Because that, that Burger King kind of freaks me out. So I'm going to say I would rather wake up next to uh, Ronald McDonald. Um, even though he's a creepy ass clown. But um, to me that's a step up from the creepy freaking Burger King. Because that guy creeps me out with that plastic face. The next question I have for you guys is a what's hotter. And it is five models at a slumber party or three strippers. And um, that's a great question. <laughs> I just had to tell you guys that one. That was a good one. Um, to me I'm going to go ahead and go with the five models at a slumber party uh, I'm gonna guess that this is a model slumber party where they're modeling uh, Victoria's Secrets or some kind of lingerie and um, a lot of you guys are like why wouldn't you go with the strippers um, I've actually never been to a strip club I know it sounds crazy uh, but a lot of the people I know who have gone there and go there frequent there regularly uh, said the girls really aren't that impressive unless you're in a big city in a big strip club um, so I'm going to go with the models and not the skanks. So let's go ahead and move on to the next question. And then the last question we have for you guys is who would you rather do, Emma Watson or Natalie Portman? Um, a lot of you guys I know absolutely go bonkers over Emma Watson, but I'm a Natalie Portman kind of guy. She's a very smart girl. I like very smart women. Um, so I'm going to go with Natalie Portman. To me, she's just gorgeous. Um, her quirkiness, her personality is a little bit left to be desired, but... Um, Hey, it's my dream, so I'm going to go with Natalie Portman. And that's going to go ahead and do it for this week's episode of Mondays with Maze Man. If you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, or something you would like featured in next week's episode, make sure you leave it in the comment section below. Make sure you guys hit that like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. And now for some videos that you guys may have missed. On the left, we had the Black Ops 2 giveaway. Make sure you guys check that out to see how you can be eligible to win that. And on the right, we have my little quick tips video for you. This one is how to best utilize a C4. Go ahead and check those videos out.